The internet is for cats. The internet is for cats. Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. Thank you so much for watching Matter Hackers Minute videos. If you like our videos, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. If you missed the last one, check it out. It's right up there. Enjoy. Let's talk about foster kittens. Foster kittens, they're a huge thing on Instagram with professional kitten rescuers like the kitten lady who has over 800,000 followers. Her real name is Hannah Shaw, and many of her rescues are special needs kittens like internet celebrities Badger and Jumbo Slice. They suffer from megasophagus. It's a congenial defect that makes it tough for cats and dogs to eat out of regular bowls on the floor. So their esophagus doesn't push the food down the stomach like normal, so eating from a raised bowl sets the esophagus up at an optimal angle for food to pass smoothly through, and it allows gravity to just do its thing and get the food down where it needs to go. One of Kitten Lady's fans is Preston Tobery. He's a coordinator for Maker Technologies at the University of Maryland Libraries with a huge passion for 3D printing. He reached out to Hannah to see if he could help 3D print something for her kittens to make it easier for them to eat. To his shock, she replied with a sketch of an idea for a feeding bench which Preston turned into the Mega Feeder 3000. It's awesome. And now Badger and Jumbo Slice and other Mega E kittens all over the world on and off Instagram are able to eat safely thanks to 3D printing and Preston. It took two weeks of iterations, but once the final product was featured on Hannah's YouTube channel and her other social media, Preston started getting calls to buy more. He's now producing two to three feeders a week, and he's looking for other forms of fabrication to keep up with demand. He's also working on a version for dogs, as megasophagus is an even wider spread problem in the canine community. So who is this Preston guy? Turns out, he's awesome. My sister actually put Hannah's story on my radar, and so I reached out to Preston myself to see if Matter Hackers could help with his 3D printing. Turns out he had been buying filament from Matter Hackers all along, and he was thrilled to share his story with us. Preston saw his first MakerBot Replicator 2 at Michigan State University's Makerspace years ago, and in his words, it was love at first sight. When he started working in IT at the University of Maryland Libraries, he convinced them to purchase the 3D printer which he took apart and put back together so he could see how it worked. So my people. The director saw his passion for new technology and they created the maker technology coordinator position specifically for him so he could share his passion with students and staff and faculty. He now runs a thousand square foot room full of 3D printers, vinyl cutters, scanners, AR, VR, Arduinos, robots, all of it. And because 3D printing is a thing and can be done in your own home or office with a sketch, some PLA, and a 3D printer which only costs a few hundred dollars, you can now develop yourself, like Preston did, as a specialized entrepreneur. Putting good into the world. Helping all the kittens. <coughs> For more information about Preston and Adaptive Tech Consulting, click the links below. Have you started a business with only your 3D printer in a dream? Leave me a comment and we just may feature you in our next video. I'm Mara and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more useful and inspiring stories from the 3D printing community. You can also go to matterhackers.com to find the desktop machines and materials you need to bring your story to life.